It is the first border county described by Xu Xiaoke, an explorer of the Ming Dynasty. It is also an important port along the Southwest Silk Road route of ancient China. Today, People's Daily Online reporters take you to Tenchong to experience this county-level frontier city's profound culture, prosperous commerce and trade, and beautiful ecological environment. This is Tenchong, a lighthouse on the borderline, a treasured land of ecology. As an important gateway to South Asia and Southeast Asia, Tenchong has long been a place with prosperous business and trade. The ancient Silk Road has empowered Tenchong to embark on a road of openness since the Han Dynasty. During the Gentong period of the Ming Dynasty, jadeite was discovered in Tenchong along the ancient Silk Road. Now, trading and wearing jadeite have become a habit of the local people in Tenchong, a place with a jadeite processing history of more than 600 years. The county is home to various jadeite markets with nearly 300 jadeite workshops and about 5,000 practitioners, including Yang Xumin, a famous jadeite sculptor in China. People in Tenchong are lucky, as Jedi has made the remote county in southwest China an important business center in western Yunnan. The prosperous business culture has nurtured a thriving economy, improving people's spiritual and cultural needs. According to the Book of Rites, one of the five Confucian classics, education is of paramount importance in ruling a country and bringing the people stability. Books are indispensable for both teaching and learning. This is why Heshun Library, one of China's largest village libraries, was built. Founded in 1928, Heshun Library is operated and managed by local residents and overseas Chinese returning to their hometown. The library, as the eyes of the people in Heshun, a long time ago introduced the outside world to Heshun people. They have become better off and always bear in mind what they need to repay the place which once imbued them knowledge. With the town having a population of over 6,000 people, the library keeps more than 100,000 books, including over 20,000 important ancient woodcut thread-bound books, and published items in the early 21st century. It also has a rich collection of popular literature, science, and reference books. In Gudon Town, about 40 kilometers from Heshun Town, artists are staging a shadow puppet show. Liu Yongzhou, a fourth-generation inheritor of shadow puppet play in Liu Jiajiai village, is teaching his grandson, Liu Chaokan. I really think that I've been working in this field for 
有大概七年时间。从小爷爷就给我讲一些历史典故，他是对我影响最大的。一台完整的皮影演出，首先它音乐、美术还有这个历史都要精通。做一台皮影戏，你把剧本写出来，把音乐定下来之后，然后要制作里边的人物，所以制作一个皮影是一个周期性很长、很复杂的一个工艺。现在你看，受到外来文化的这些冲击之后，啊，电影电视，呃，谁去看你这个啊？虽然你是电影的鼻祖，但是我，啊，坚持了下来。所以我们要在尊重传统原有的基础上加以创新。我发现这个小蛙特别喜欢这个皮影，如果你给他演一些传统的故事，他可能看不懂；但你以皮影的形式给他演一些动画片故事，他就非常感兴趣。其实艺术是一种轮回，只是它一个形式上的一个质的改变。Carrying forward a simple artistic style, the shadow puppet shows of Liu Jiajie Village. Have become an epitome of the integration between the culture of the Central Plains and that of Western Yunnan. Being passed on from one generation to another, the shadow puppet show culture is blooming in Tenchon. The spirit of perseverance and innovation is right in the chapter of Tenchon's culture. Tenchon is home to over 90 volcanoes and 80 hot springs that are thousands of years old. Volcanic activities in Tenchon led to the formation of Rehai, a scenic area known for its hot springs, and the Beihai wetland, renowned for its tranquil scenery. About 600,000 years ago, after volcanic eruptions, grass seeds brought by birds or through other channels began to sprout in Tenchon. Since then, lush aquatic plants have emerged here and there, bringing diverse species to the Beihai wetland, which has important ecological functions. In an ancient village 14 kilometers away from the Tenchon Volcanic Geological Park, there are over 3,000 ginkgo trees that are hundreds of years old, becoming the most popular destination in Tenchon in late autumn. Residents in Tenchon believe that lucid waters and large mountains are invaluable assets. They have maintained self-sufficiency in food for years and have found a way to live in harmony with nature. As described in a saying, Tenchong, once a close and impoverished place where people had to leave their hometowns to earn a living, has become prosperous and open. In history, the impoverished people in Tenchong left their hometown with infertile land to start a business. From that time, People in Tenchong, with the spirit of daring to take adventures, have constantly pushed the boundaries of their material well-being and spiritual progress. While becoming well-off, they never forget to repay their hometown, bringing endless assets to the border county.